most watched, most trusted weather source. Here's your certified most accurate first alert forecast. Uh, about 34 years ago, we were digging out almost a foot to a foot and a half of snow for some of you with the six, uh, with the exception of Rocky Mount there and picking up an inch. But other than that, a pretty nice Christmas that year. Of course, that was a very cold year on record. As we just showed you there, the temperatures got below zero uh, for a good half of the nation, to say the least. So that was one of the coldest Christmases in within recent years compared to last year's with uh, frigid temperatures in the 30s and lows in the teens. So this year's Christmas is probably going to go down the top five warmest. Of course, the four of the now the five warmest have been in the past recent years with mostly rain and some sunshine breaks in between. Uh, the dividing line here north of 264, mid 60s, low 60s here, mid 50s for a north of our friends up towards Edenton, Elizabeth City, Roanoke Rapids and Ahoski coming in the low and mid 50s. Right now across the country, really not much going on locally here in the east, but if you're heading out and making any airline travel plans, flight countries, anywhere from the Midwest, this is all part of a rainmaker. This is going to produce some snow showers hours out towards Nebraska and the Dakota state. So if you're flying out that way, watch out for that. The northeast, the southeast, or even part of the Rocky Mountain states laying pretty dry as we go out and about. And we'll put this into motion here for you here. Kind of see that snow in the Midwest regions there. The rain here in the east will stick around till about Wednesday. Then things will start to clear on out as we go into Thursday, Friday for much of the east coast. A little bit of snow shower parts of Kentucky. Even more snow could possibly be wrapping up a white New Year's for our friends up towards the northeast. Believe it or not, over the next four hours, though, temperatures are going to stay in the 50s. Really not much of a complaining forecast here with those clouds do increasing here for you. Something we're going to notice as we go beyond this is that our winds are going to start to pick up too, coming in out of the east here about five to uh, about 10 miles an hour for most of you to say the least. Cloud cover is going to be our friends also as we go through the next couple of days. A few spotty rain showers north of Atlantic there outside of Cedar Island. Not much falling now to expect except with the exception of Bell Haven along the Pamlico Sound there. We'll start to see some of those showers uh, even east of Greenville now picking up out toward Pacaloosa and even Grimesland picking up on some showers. And again, most of this rain is going to move its way as we go closer overnight. So tonight's looking dry. It's going to be cloudy, but we're not going to be seeing rain fall. And if we do, it's going to be very light in nature. You can kind of see here the lighter showers about right on midnight. Wait until about 4 or 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. We'll see showers come in, get a break in the rain. The secondary round moves in later on Tuesday afternoon afternoon and tonight that will the Tuesday night that will be uh, mostly we'll see rain showers in the early hours of Wednesday and things start to kind of uh, dwindle out and dry out as we go to portions of that time frame too. Maybe a few isolated showers the day on Wednesday, but not expecting anything that's going to be impacting your plans after Thursday. A good half an inch to an inch and a half is expected for most of you here. That is our trends. We're going towards the next couple of days with our locally rainfall amounts as well. But again, your lows tonight are falling in the mid 50s there with those rain showers coming in at play. Again, to have the umbrella on stand, but hopefully you got one for Christmas. Santa brought you one in your stocking, to say the least, and we'll cool down. We'll be staying in the 50s as we go towards the end of the week and going in, well, into 2024. Really not a bad weekend as you go there, there into next week.